Welcome to the show where we take logos to the next level. Over the past few years, brands have been simplifying their logos to a minimum, but what if we do the opposite? In this series, we'll take a closer look at some famous logos and create super realistic versions with intricate details. Let's boost the graphics to a maximum so it will blow your mind. The first episode, we're starting strong with an iconic logo that you've seen countless times. But trust me, you've never seen it like this before. In this makeover we're adding depth and texture to create a design that exceeds your imagination. This is trend reverse. What is the NASA logo actually supposed to be? The NASA website says, the round shape of the insignia represents a planet. So let's start with it. I have already prepared the individual shapes of the logo so we don't waste any time here. Let's use some textures first. I decided not to use the earth and keep the planet a bit more generic. Now we set some lights, give it a bit more contrast and color it in the typical NASA blue. A few stronger rim lights such as a glow help the planet look three-dimensional and stand out from the background. Just adding some stars behind the planet and here we go. Now there comes a tricky part. The red V-shaped wing represents aeronautics, according to the NASA website. But what exactly does that mean? I did a quick research and found some images of hypersonic wings they tested back in 1959. There was one image which helped me to understand this shape. So we try to use this as a reference. I want that this V-shaped element looks like a wing. So I found a great image with metallic pattern I just had to warp so it matches the shape. First let's make it red like the NASA logo. Now I can repeat the light and shadow process, giving this element more depth. I try to emulate the reflections coming from the light source behind so the wing elements fit the composition. After putting some finishing touches on these wings and the planet, I move on. The next part is the white orbit that will later goes around the NASA letters. This element represents space travel, so I think it's cool to use a spaceship for this part. To create the line of the orbit I use some cloud brushes and warp them along the path. For more dynamics, we let the engine run at full power. The flames glow very brightly and are a new light source that we can use directly to blend the elements together nicely. The most important thing here is to consider how the light hits the surrounding elements such as the wings and the space shuttle. While it's physically illogical, I added contrails to the spaceship to further emphasize the speed and movement. Now we come to the NASA lettering. The individual letters are very bold and offer a lot of space. To make them look unique, I use an aluminum texture. I think this material suits aerospace very well. And to make the single letters more three-dimensional, I work with beveled edges and a bright rim light on the edges. I repeat this for all the letters until they have this typical look I want to achieve. Now just a few more simple edits here and there, and matching shadows where the text meets other elements and we can go straight to the next part. I have some extra brushes for stars and highlights which I can use perfectly here. And while I'm working on it, I have a little fun fact for you, their placement and size is not just coincidence. Even if the distances and sizes are not exact, an attempt was made to integrate well-known star and galaxy constellations such as Orion and Andromeda into the logo. The edge of light on the planet can be even stronger, and the area brighter, so I placed some lens flares there. And the orbit fully made of clouds doesn't look dynamic enough for me yet. So I try to define this area with blurred lines, which I place with warp along the path. Now I just have to do a smooth transition between the lines and the clouds and it's almost done. Just some fine tuning in camera raw and I am ready to share with you the final result. This was the first episode of Trend Reverse, where we transform iconic logos into hyper-realistic versions that bring them to life. If you're excited to see more, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future episodes. And before we forget, let me know in the comments which logo you want to see in the next episode. Thanks for watching and see you soon.